mine! Oh, wait, that's the wrong baby. They don't really have, like, a super celebratory thing in Rugrats. The that would just be Stewie. Maybe this is the game that'll get us into where Dilly is. Alright, now that we're done with these last, with the two games, now let's go to the last one here in Outside Space. Take me to your My favorite one, where we get to run over pedestrians. But to you, if you're ready to be a saucer jockey, and get away with it too, because they're filthy, degenerate aliens. The planet, and we'll teach you the right stuff. You'll be ready for takeoff in no time. The X button is your booster run. Press and hold it to go faster. The square button is your um, rocket brake. Press it to slow down or stop. To steer, just press left or right. May the horse be with you. No, wait, that's not right. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? I'm gonna go all over the moon of Earth. Ah, all right. Here's on to my sister's favorite game from this, other than golf and racing, of course, Looney Lander. Uh, I actually do have a good fondness for, uh, I have, do have a good fondness for this game. I do appreciate it. Ready? Lights, camera, action. And each time it's sort of the same as the uh, the pirate map, the, the treasure the treasure collecting map, the one where you got all the coins. As in, it's the it's basically the same general area except it's a bit expanded each time. So this area will be the same the next time we come here gotcha. but there may be something different like there may be a rock here or, uh there be it might be a ufo there but you can tell pretty straightforward as long as you can actually steer the damn thing bump bump and triple shot nice Who's up next? Ready? Lights, camera, action! I can't see! Nope, I was gonna say, is it my boy Tommy? But it's not. I think it's Lil. Yep, it's Lil. Can I please get around? Thank you. Yep, see? Now there's a UFO. Now that area is expanded a bit. And now there are a couple of rocks. I don't know if the UFOs do anything. I've never really... Oh, they just stop you. Okay, that makes sense. I suppose... What the hell? Oh. Come on. Come on. Three, two... Oh my god, I can't I can't grab anything. Jeez Louise. I just want the friggin' reptar bars. Gotcha. I'll even forfeit getting an alien within a decent amount of time. Alright. There you are. Right. Goodbye, you little bastard. <laughs> Round three. I guess this might probably be the only thing that steers us away from a game like Mario Party, which has a ton of mini games. This one only has like a handful. But since it was meant for little kids, I guess it, I, it can get away with it. Alright, back to being Angelica. It was nice not having to see her face for a little while. But alas, she is a main character. And I was looking through my collection. Apparently, I only have three Rugrats videos. I'm actually kind of disappointed in myself. When I went to the, the, the storage unit that we have a lot of our stuff in, I have all my, uh, my loose videotapes, my DVDs, and um, uh, like the ones that are in the cardboard slip covers which most of the Rugrats videos were actually put in, so... I only have three Rugrats videos, one being the original Rugrats movie. My copy goes a bit static during the, uh... the cat-dog short that's in it. 
that's right before the movie. The second one I have is, uh, actually has some of my favorite Rugrats episodes in it. It's the one where, uh, it's the one where they all talk about, like, people getting sick and stuff. Like, how they think that the, uh, tree that's shedding its leaves in the fall is dying. And they all try to keep, <laughs> they keep trying to let all the leaves go out and stuff. And Stewie's, Stu's just trying to get everything back together. It's... That one's one. That one's in there. The one where they think that Grandpa has got a bug in him, or yeah, Grandpa has a bug in him. I love that one. I don't remember. I think it's like Doctor Angelica or something, or Doctor Pickles or something like that. And the other one I have is a, is the Christmas themed one, not the original Christmas themed one. The uh, the one from when uh, Angelica's being a real pain in the ass to poor. Uh, Dill, and he tells them that if he doesn't get to have a good cr first Christmas, Santa will forget about him forever, and then it's the whole thing where they're in, like, Christmas Town or something. I I do like it, but I wish I had more Rugrats videos. I mean, look, Rugrats was as p big a part of my childhood as basically any of the Disney movies, so... And for me, I have my own personal cutoff date for when I stopped being a quote-unquote child. And for me, that date was, uh, when Avatar ended. So when Avatar The Last Airbender ended in the summer of 2007 was when I officially stopped being a kid. I had been, what? Damn, I forgot those guys teleport. I had been, what, I think in 2000, summer 2007, I was 13. Going on 14 in the fall. And when that ended was basically when Nickelodeon just sort of just gave up. I mean, they had SpongeBob still. The Fairly Odd Parents was dying its slow and awkward death. Come on, Tom, you gotta do better than this. Uh, and then they started focusing on those horrible Dan Schneider shows. Friggin' iCarly and Victorious and... Oopsie. What's the one with the friggin' video game people that don't know a thing about video games? Like, was it like Game Racers or something? Or whatever. Man, there are so many terrible Dan Schneider shows. But that was for me when it started to go on the decline and when I stopped being really interested in that stuff. Granted, I still watch cartoons because I love cartoons. But at that point, it was more or less like, I think the only one I was truly, truly watching at that point that wasn't meant for, like, young adults or adults like South Park, The Simpsons, and Family Guy. At that point, I think the only one I was watching... Yay, we got a key! I think the only other one I was watching at that point was Total Drama. And, obviously, I love Total Drama. But at that point, I think all three of the kids' networks, Nickelodeon, Disney Channel, and Cartoon Network, were such garbage that I just stopped watching. One. Which is a shame, because that's when, uh... Three, pretty sure we two, got everything here. Yep. One. That was when, uh... Come on. Three, uh, two, Cartoon Network began its one. renaissance, where they started with, uh... Chowder and... Flapjack and Adventure Time would come out and regular show too. Nickelodeon would take a much longer time to come back with only SpongeBob and uh, whatever it is being left. Let's put in our keys first. Eh, you know what? We'll wait till the end. Alright, Dipies of Thunder or Blazing Saddles or Lazy Saddles? Eh, let's do Lazy Saddles. Let's do Lazy Saddles. Let's save all the racing stuff for the last recording session, right before the final boss. Because, yes, there is a boss in this game. I always wanted to be a cowgirl. Well, if it ain't Susie the Kid. Yeah! This counter ain't big enough for How the does this guy know her name? Leave. Mosey on in and start filming your Western epic Lazy Saddles. Get along, and it's the same freaking guy, too. He just keeps changing his voices. It's Tom Hanks, isn't it? Who was that mad man? I don't know. But anyway, that's like that was like when 
Because after Avatar ended, so many of the channels went to shit. Oh, the gold mine one. We're not doing that one first, that's for sure. Hey, Roundup, let's do this one. Real animals for this here barnyard scene. If you're not used to handling little critters, let's round up baby animals. It's like a petting zoo gone crazy. There's critters loose all over the barnyard. Round them all up by using the circle button to pick them up and put them down. Pick up the piggy. So watch that timer. Pick up the piggy. This is the easy part. Pretty straightforward mini game the there. Especially you. And there you go. Round up. In uh, Cat Icarus's review of this game, this was when the game started crashing on him. But thankfully for me, that has never happened for me here in this game, this mini game in particular. The only one I've ever had really have it really crash on me in is the uh you don't have all day, so watch that time is the uh the foot race thing in uh Captain Cookies. Alright, let's keep let's try to keep our focus. Five chicks and five bunnies, okay. Pretty straightforward. Um, but getting back to what I was saying, that was when all three channels went to shit. I mean, Disney Channel had been falling apart for years. Like, it went on a steep, steep decline very quickly. And no, it was not because I stopped... Well, it's not because they didn't make stuff that I liked. It's just the shows were terrible. I mean, Hannah Montana? Friggin' really? What was the one that? What was the one where friggin' Demi Lovato was in? What was it like, Sunny or something? All, it wasn't always sunny in Philadelphia, that's for sure. Um. But yeah, Disney Channel was going to shit, and Toon Disney, Toon Disney was the worst. The biggest offender of being the worst decline or steepest decline was Toon Disney. Then they started putting on those really shitty shows that even Disney Channel couldn't do, like the one with the stupid kid from Hannah Montana that they really wanted to push as the next big thing, but no one cared about. He was like a king on an island or something. And then the one with the two stupid skateboarders. I don't remember what their names were, like Ship and Shop or whatever the hell their names were. Something too stupid names. And then, of course, Beavis and Butthead. I mean, Phineas and Ferb. But even then, Disney has sort of kicked themselves in the rear end lately and gotten back into the swing of things. I mean, they've done Gravity Falls. Uh, Pen Zero was not that bad. Star vs. the Forces of Evil might be their best show since friggin'... At least if you ask me, it's been their... Okay, that's weird. I don't like how Tommy holds the chicks. Just saying. His arms haven't fully developed yet. Oh my god, it's what's same with the rabbits, too. How did I not notice this? This is, like, scary. Oh well. But, like, yeah, Disney Channel's gotten back to the swing of things. Cartoon Network has sort of, because they're starting to hit a rock. Because now they're starting to do stupid shows again. Disney's sort of in that vein, too. I mean, not every single show is going to be a hit. Nickelodeon is just barely scraping by because I think The Loud House is probably the best thing they've had since, like, Jimmy Neutron. That's not a show like SpongeBob or Avatar, of course. Alright, now is where it starts to get interesting. This is where, uh... The game starts to be a bit of a pain in the ass. You can only pick up special picks. They all look the fucking same, but whatever. You'll know how bad if it's a good pig or not. Trust me, you'll know. Ready? Lights, camera, action. First things first, let's check the piggies closest to us. Oops. Nope! Yay! That one shat stars! It's Yay! For you. Let's 
let's see. How about... <laughs> oh my lord. Nope, that's gotta be... Nope. Nope. God, then what's freaking pig have I not picked up? Oh, sure enough, it was you. Okay, we're not... Oh, no, the spike one. I keep forgetting about this one. All right, the last round of Roundup is a little weird. Instead of having to pick them up, you actually have to chase a specific geese, this uh, geese, sheep, into their own specific little area. As spikes, and spike can't hold anything. Well, there you go. There you go, and all that. And all that. Jazz. Sheep! Must chase the sheep! Even though Spike is not a sheep dog of any kind. Alright, so let's keep going. Chase him into the thing. Hey! I said go into the thing! Into the thing! Get into the thing! The thing! The thing! Wait, no! Go! No, you don't get to turn! Why do you think you get to turn? Turn back in there! Oh. 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 I am eight different brands of stupid. I was chasing them into the wrong ones. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Let's go, black sheeps. Bah, bah, black sheep, get the frig inside! No! You don't get to run past me, you stupid goat thing! Go join your brethren! No! Your brethren! Get your ass in there! Or my name is an Orenthal J. Spike the Third. I don't think it is. I think his name is just Spike Pickles. But whatever. No. No. Bad sheep. Bad sheep. Bad. Bad. Good job. And I will never do that again. There you go. Alright, where's the black sheep? There you are. There you are, you little devil. But first, let's get the closer ones in. Hopefully I don't... I can tell black from freaking white, you idiot! I can't believe I did that. For almost a full minute I was sitting there going, Why are you running away from the spot? That's your spot! And then it wasn't. Because I'm not smart. That's why you should stay in school, kids. Stay in school. Even if that said school costs you $185,000 and puts you in debt and ruins your life. Stay in school, kids. And then you won't be playing games from your childhood in your mid-twenties. All the while, the rest of the kids in your friggin' classes are getting married, getting doctorates. We're selling hot dogs at friggin' baseball games. And whatever the hell poor JD would have done. Oh, turn the frig around, you stupid sheep! Go! Oh! There! Yay, we did it! 